There are growing fears that the farm produce expected from parts of Katsina State experiencing security challenges will be lost as many farmers cannot go to their farms. And some farming communities have been attacked or threatened by criminal gangs in an attempt to stop farming activities. TVC News correspondent in Katsina State, Abdul Latif Yusuf, reports. Farming is the major preoccupation of the people of Katsina State with close to 65% of the population being subsistence farmers. This is evident in the number of grain markets across the state where large transactions of grains are made weekly from across Nigeria. As a result, many successful farmers and businessmen target annual farming seasons to reinvest in ensuring a bumper harvest. But this year is different. The security challenges have disrupted such plants and the economy of Katsuna State is suffering greatly as a result of this. 90% of those people who have been dislodged in, the, in these areas are typically agrarians. That means the mainstay of their economy is sourced from agriculture. Now if they are dislodged, apparently there will be what? Hunger. Now to contain such a problem, I think the only option left with law enforcement agents since they are the ones that have been trained for this purpose, is to devise a means to do which they can contain the situation. Because by the moment people start to defend themselves, there will be more catastrophe, there will be more bloodshed. Armed bandits appear determined to stop farming activities this year through threats, and where this fails, numerous attacks on farmers and farming communities are carried out. Our people have been killed, houses burned, cattle and many properties taken away by the bandits. And they said they will be back soon to complete what they have started. All our animals used for farming have been taken away. We don't have options than to flee our area. They are hunting for my son to kill. The bandits' attack have mostly affected big farms located far away from people and in eight frontline local governments of the state. The situation has resulted in families fleeing their homes in search of alternative means for survival or taking refuge in the IDP camps. The state government says it is determined to overcome the situation and alleviate the plight of the common man. Of the TV News, TVC News, Katsuna.